what is going on YouTube I bet y'all are wondering why on earth I have the exhaust off the bike so let's find out so today we will be installing the DK custom thunder torque inserts which basically is this little piece here to get two of these they cost roughly forty dollars from DK customs a little bit less with shipping and everything included um, and these are gonna mount inside the exhaust because these exhausts are very short and they do not have baffles you know um, it reduces the amount of back pressure that the Sportster originally had so these are gonna add that back pressure back in there but the first step is you have to drill a hole for this to fit and they suggest drilling it approximately an inch or two from the bottom of the exhaust so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mark where I want my holes and then come back and drill it so let's get it started okay so I have picked my location of where I am going to drill my holes. Um, first thing I'm gonna do is uh, lay down a towel or something so I don't mess up my table. Give me a second, much better. Um, and the first step will be to drill a pilot hole, um, which will basically just be a smaller hole before I drill the main hole, which it's supposed to be a 3 8 hole. So I'm gonna start my pilot hole with a 1 8 drill bit just to get a small hole there this is the one a drill bit attach it to my trusty cheap drill now whenever it comes to drilling and stuff like that i always get a little paranoid because i am not a drill master and i don't like drilling but we're gonna just get it on there and take it really slow See, that, that's why I don't like to drill. It's sliding instead of drilling. Oh, let me get a better angle. Right there. The key to this is not to go too fast. This is definitely some pretty solid, solid material on this exhaust. This feels like it's gonna take a while, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna finish getting the hole drilled and I'll be right back. Okay, so we got the pilot holes drilled, as you can see them there. Now, what we're gonna do is take my 3 8 drill bit and make my full hole for my torque cones. So let's make sure the hole is big enough for the torque cone before finishing on the other side, which it is. Fits in there perfectly. So now what I'm going to do is drill out this hole. This next part isn't a requirement, but it's something I always suggest. So we basically got bare metal here, right? Now, what happens on bare metal? It can rust. So my suggestion is to hit it with a little high temperature exhaust paint just to make sure that doesn't end up rusting down the line okay as you can see i just put a little paint around it um, just to make sure that doesn't rust too much the next step is to put on the supplied washers which are right here on the tip of the torque cones and you want to insert them with the bolt going towards the engine voila it's going to sit just like that they give you a little bag with some extra pieces. So you wanna put a washer on the outside and the bolt work out as planned because these torque cones are like a perfect fit. Like there's not a lot of room to move them around and you still gotta have airflow. So I had to drill an extra hole so I can move them back and tomorrow I'm gonna to have to go get a bolt or something 
to fill that hole or I may put some steel in there to fill the hole. So uh, we'll come back tomorrow and see about when we get this done. I found out, excuse the junk, that the finish on these LAF exhausts is basically terrible. It was flaking off everywhere. So while I got the exhaust off of the bike, since I'm putting in these torque cones, I've decided to go ahead and spray them down with some high heat ultra paint. So I'm gonna get them painted up real quick and I'll come back to y'all um, once everything dries up and I'm about to finish the install of the um, torque cones. So as you can see, I got them all painted up. They're ready to go. Um, I had to run to the store to get some new nuts. <laughs> For the uh, Thunder Torques, the ones they sent me would not go on here. They quit. They kept getting tight and locking up, so I just felt like they weren't going to work. So I went and got two new ones. I got my Loctite here, and we're going to go ahead and get them installed, get them at the angle I want, and go from there. First things first, let's get all of the materials out. Got to put the washer on. It already has a nut on there. And then you get the washer on top of there. And as you can see, I ended up having to fill one of those holes I drilled with some um, steel stuff, JB Weld steel stuff. Throw another washer on. I'm gonna put just a dab of thread lock. It actually, the thread lock helps lubricate it too, so it's easier to slide it down. Screw it on till it's almost tight and set your position. I got the torque cones in try to show them to you it'll be difficult to see if you look may possibly be able to see them in there that's one and then that, that right there is the other one and I got them slightly open so a little bit of air can come through um, but the purpose of it is to increase the back pressure so next step I'm gonna go ahead and get these put back on the motorcycle and see how it sounds Got everything bolted up looks good looks a lot better painted too than it did before when it was on here so uh, that's it got the exhaust on um, I'll give my response in an updated video once I go ride it and let you guys know if the DK custom thunder torques are worth it or not but if you have not done so already make sure you hit that subscribe button like and comment below but let's do the moment of truth we're gonna crank this puppy up and then I'm out of here. It's your boy Infinite Rider signing out.